This is a hand that occurred in the cash game at Poker After Dark, and it's between uh, Michael Misraki uh, and Maria Ho. So it started with the grinder racing from early position, and uh, the small blind flatted, and, and so did Maria and the big blind. Uh, and let's see what happens. So the flop comes ace, king, deuce with the flush draw. And um, as we can see, both the small blind and, and Maria caught a piece of it, and grinder completely whiffed. But he still decides to, to bet. Uh, but I actually like his bet because it's a really good board for his range. He opened in the early position. Uh, flat from the small blind and the big blind indicates that neither of them has uh, any strong hands really on this board except pocket deuces and, and ace deuce. Um, so I, I like his C bet because he has all the aces, all the kings, ace king. Um, just a, a complete range advantage. Um, and he's also in position on both of them. The hoe makes the call. So the small blind uh, elects to fold, even though he has a, a, a gutter and a backdoor flush draw. Pretty tight, in my opinion, versus the grinder uh, Sivet, but uh, um, he also has Maria to worry about, I suppose. And he's out of position uh, out of both of them, so it's not, it's not a great spot. Uh, Maria likes to call, which looks pretty standard so far. So let's see what the turn brings. Third spade on the turn, and now Grinder has the only flush draw. So the Grinder makes sure that he has the seven of spades before he <laughs> likes to fire again. <laughs> At this point, uh, Maria has a lot of flushes too that she she doesn't necessarily check raise on the flop. Uh, actually, I wouldn't expect her to because she knows that the Grinder has a even though he's a very loose, aggressive player, he has a, a pretty strong amount of advantage on this board. So she will have a lot of uh, a lot of flushes on this board, and uh, she can easily have you know king x of spades that she's just trapping him with here. So it's a bit of a, a risky bluff by by Michael here, but uh, <laughs> he uh, he's clearly with this bet. I think he's betting half pot, and she has 23k behind. He's betting 8,000. Uh, so I think this indicates that he's willing to go with it and he's going to barrel even almost regardless what the river brings. Maria calls once more. Yeah, no, I think she, the only option she has really is, is to check call. Versus certain players there, he can elect for, to fold for sure uh, because it's super scary when they bet again after you call because they know that you can easily have a lot of flushes there. Uh, they also know that they're flop bet was so strong uh, and uh, that makes your flop call uh, pretty strong as well. So I think more often than not that, that turn goes check check because uh, even as the pre-flop racer you want to pot control with a lot of your uh, ace x. Yeah I don't think Maria want to do anything else than, than check call and keep uh, the grinder bluffing because you know that's that's a strong possibility. Now grinder hits a nine. She all checks in. a third time and Grinder says all in. He obviously knows that his nine is no good. Uh, maybe it's a nice blocker, but I'm pretty sure if, the, if it was the eight of hearts, he would still <laughs> make the same move. Um, and so now Maria is in a pretty, pretty tough spot, I would say. Um, you know, even versus someone very aggressive uh, as Michael. It's still a, a pretty nasty spot. She doesn't have any spades in her hand uh, or the ton of spades. I love my hand, but you know, it's pretty good. Uh, how good is it? Pretty good. Like, actually, like, if there was a stone definition for pretty good, it's pretty good. Given the reasonable likelihood of, of Michael being able to pull something like this off and uh, the pot odds she's getting, she's only at she only has five fifteen thousand left. I mean, wishful thinking, she probably was hoping that he would check behind on, <laughs> on an off to the river. But I'm pretty sure, like once she calls the turn, she's willing to call down any blank river that is in the spade. So let's see if uh, she can come <laughs> come up with the right decision. Maria makes the big call. You guys are good. Wow. You're both very good at poker. <laughs> By the look of, on his face when he saw her hand, I think he was expecting her to, to fold that. 
um, which I think she would like versus most players, but I think specifically versus him, I think she um, felt like it was, she was a little bit ahead of, of his range. Very tricky spot, yeah.